Hi, I'm Colin West. Some science thoughts are so cool that once you learn them, you can't unthink them. Next time you're carrying around a cup of coffee, I bet you're gonna think about this. All right, I bet we can all agree. There's nothing worse than pouring a nice big cup of coffee only to end up spilling it all over yourself as you carry it back to your desk. Well, okay, you could end up spilling it all over yourself as you carry it back to your blind date at a coffee shop. But the point is, no one likes to be walking around with coffee when it starts sloshing out of control. But the good news is, this kind of liquid sloshing problem has actually been studied by scientists pretty extensively for a couple of reasons. First of all, there's a bunch of practical applications like Okay, apparently knowing how flammable liquids slosh around their fuel tanks is pretty important. But also, we really just love our coffee. Okay, so let's break this down a little bit. It turns out the root cause of all this sloshing is actually just sort of a cruel scientific coincidence. You see, one of the most important things in science and engineering is a concept called resonance, which is a fancy term for something you're probably already familiar with if you've ever pushed someone on a swing set. If you want to make someone on a swing go higher, you can't just push whenever you want. You have to time the pushes just right. So you wait until they swing up close to you, and then you push right as they're about to swing away. If you push too early, you'll actually end up slowing them down. So if the rhythm of your pushing matches the rhythm of the swing set, we say that those are in resonance, and you can make the swing keep going higher and higher. It turns out the same kind of thing is at play here. The natural rocking motion of an average human's stride matches up in a super unfortunate way with the shape of an average human coffee cup, and it just keeps making the coffee slosh more and more. And if you think that's an unfair coincidence, consider this. Turns out the faster you walk, the closer your pace comes to that natural rhythm that will just make the coffee go completely berserk. So what can be done about this? Well, here's three ideas. One change the shape of the coffee cup. For example, we could all start drinking out of saucepans. I didn't say that'd all be good ideas. Two, okay, and this one's more serious. You can stop your pace from falling into that natural rhythm. Keep an eye on the coffee, and when the liquid sloshing intensifies, just take a different size step. This will break the pattern and have the same effect as pushing too early on the swing set. It'll stop the coffee from going higher and is likely to actually slow it down. Try it yourself, it really works. Okay, but I promised you three ideas, so here we go. Three, another set of studies has shown that a good way to stop liquid from sloshing as much is to cover it with a layer of frothy foam. So next time you're feeling guilty for ordering a whole milk latte with whipped cream in the morning instead of a black coffee, just tell yourself it was a science experiment. That's my go-to excuse. So that's it for this week. If you enjoyed the show, subscribe to the channel for more science thoughts you can't unthink. And if there's a part of your day you'd like to spice up with some more science, tweet it at me with the hashtag, what should I think about when? You can find me on Twitter at Colin G. West, because I am Colin G. West. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.